Tutorial 1 – Inserting Solid Edge Models in the PDF file In this video, you are going to learn to insert Solid Edge 3D models in any PDF file. The next video will teach you to do it even when there is no Solid Edge software on your PC. So, if you don't have Solid Edge installed on your PC and you have no intentions of doing that, skip this tutorial and go straight to Tutorial 2. Otherwise, if you have Solid Edge installed in your PC and you can open projects with it, proceed with the tutorial and at the end of this session you will create your first 3D PDF using files from the 3D PDF Maker tutorial. No matter how the project is oriented in Solid Edge, 3D PDF Maker makes use of an automated procedure that allows to correctly insert it in the PDF file. In the Solid Edge software, open from Libraries Documents 3D PDF Maker for Solid Edge Tutorial the Excavator folder, the assembly file Excavator Yellow.asm. Adjust the display as you wish. In 3D PDF Maker, open the file Tutorial 1.0 and zoom it properly with the relative button or the mouse scroll wheel. Press Add 3D to select an area for your model insertion. Not changing the default settings, click on Convert from Solid Edge and wait until the file is uploaded. The 3D view dialog opens and you can see that the model is not correctly oriented. Click the button Rotate a few times before you can see your 3D model correctly oriented, as it's indicated. Then press the Confirm button. Click in the 3D view dialog and holding down the left mouse button Move it horizontally to rotate the model. Adjust the zoom with the mouse scroll wheel and center it with the pan button, the one with the hand icon. Finally, save it by clicking the green check mark icon in the top left corner. The 3D model has been imported in the PDF file. Click on Show Preview with Adobe Reader, the PDF file has been opened in Adobe Reader. Holding down the left mouse button, move it horizontally to rotate the model. You have created your first 3D PDF file with a solid edge assembly. You may compare the two lighting scheme modes, Headlamp and CAD Optimized Lights. Before exiting Adobe Reader, you can save the PDF you have created in the My 3D PDF folder, giving a name to the file. Now quit Adobe Reader, go back to 3D PDF Maker and close the PDF file by clicking on the red cross in the top right hand corner without saving the file. At the end of this video session, close the tutorial dialog window. You will be able to access tutorials whenever you want by clicking on the Tutorial button in the menu or on the button Open Tutorial in the initial 3D PDF Maker dialog window.